Oh, hi! Welcome to Short Story Sketches, where I do a speed paint while I am narrating a short story that is inspired by the background that I am painting. My name is Jessica, and if you like creative writing and art, this may be the channel for you. This is my first ever short story sketch, and I am so excited to make more. Most of these will be in a second person point of view, so that way it's more immersive and it makes you feel like you really are that character in the story. This first one is spooky themed in honor of spooky season. I plan on this type of content being very relevant on my channel. It combines two of my loves, background painting and storytelling. And I feel like this is just gonna be the perfect marriage of both of them. By no means am I a professional background painter yet, but by doing this series, I'm really hoping that it'll help me with my skills and also encourage me to make more portfolio pieces. I do have an additional spooky theme story. I'm just, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out, you know, like I, ooh, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a procrastinator. I mean, I'm going to try. I'm going to try really hard to make sure that we get this second story out because I've worked really hard on it and I'm really proud of it. And also, spoiler alert, it's inspired by that ghost duet song by Louis Zong. Oh, yeah, I love that song. It's so adorable. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to do that and get that out before Halloween or maybe on Halloween. I don't know, uh, but I'm going to do my best. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy the story. A Recipe for Madness Each step echoes through the hall. This place has been abandoned for quite some time. Everywhere you turn, you notice broken furniture on the floor and cobwebs filling the corners. Maybe this place could be a home. You've been looking for so long. Is this it? How high does this castle stand? You make your way across the room and find a winding staircase leading upwards. Bravery builds, and you walk up each step with faith that they will hold, despite the decay. Who was the last person to walk up these steps, you wonder? It was silent where you were before, but as you ascend the staircase, unfamiliar noises begin to emerge. Intrigued, you find yourself passing each floor, uninterested in what they had to offer. A muffled voice calls from above. Bubble clink pour mix, bubble clink pour mix. A soft glow illuminates the stairs above you. This place isn't abandoned after all. Whoever's up there sounds like they're hard at work. The clanking gets louder, and your stomach feels uneasy. You blame your labored breathing on the spiral staircase, although if you really think about it, you suspect it may be anxiety. As your vision falls parallel with the floor, you peek over the hardwood, and your body freezes in place. The large room before you is dimly lit. A long wall full of books stretches across, serving as a study. Maps, scientific tables, astronomy charts, and mathematical instruments fill every space of the countertop. Green tanks sit diagonal from where you are. They tower compared to your point of view. This must be what a mouse sees when it scurries around a room. The voice you heard previously is clearer now. Bubble clink, pour and mix. Bubble clink, pour and mix. You take a deep breath and walk up to the step that's parallel to the floor. No one's here. Where's that voice coming from? The room is bigger than you thought. It's a workshop, and from what you can see, it's not a friendly one. You walk over to the tanks, looking in at the forms hovering in green liquid. They look like they're sleeping. Bubble, clink, pour, and mix. You whip your head around to find the source of the voice you just heard, but no one else is around. Believing in ghosts seems silly, yet here you are, slowly becoming a believer. Still, though, it looks like someone was physically here, you think to yourself. The candles didn't light themselves. <laughs> or did they? And how are these plants alive with no sunlight? Whoever is here is up to no good. You walk cautiously over to the laboratory section. 
The counter space is cluttered by scientific instruments and loose-leaf notebook paper. A coffee cup sits next to the weight balance. Steam escapes the surface of the liquid. It's still warm. A cold breeze brushes past the back of your neck, and your body shivers. The chalkboard to your right catches your eye, and you turn towards the green board, ignoring the small room on your left. Leaning in, you're able to make out the small print of equations and babble. Electricity seems to be important to the mathematician who wrote this. It's like they're trying to invoke a chemical reaction, but with electricity. You scan the rest of the board and suddenly find the answer you're looking for. Anatomy plus electricity times X equals reanimation. Everything clicks in your mind. This person has gone mad. They want to reanimate the dead? No wonder you're hearing ghosts. Bubble clink poi mix. The voice chimes in as if on cue. But what's X? You glance down at the journal on the counter property of Vera Pigeon. This must be the crazy lady trying to bring back the dead. You crack the journal open only to find it's blank. No writings or drawings. Nothing. You look around the room for the next clue. A desk sits in the corner with books piled on top. You feel butterflies in your stomach as you make your way over. You have to be quick if you don't want to be caught. Who knows what she'll do if she catches you, and you don't want to be her next experiment. The wooden desk is cluttered with paper, pens, and books. A lone lamp illuminates the center and offers a look at what's in its view. X is a serum of some sort. A new element? Or perhaps a new chemical created with different elements? You look over at the periodic table on the wall. Bubble clink, pull it and mix. <sighs> Either it's the ghosts or it's that mad woman nearby. If you could just figure this out quickly and hide, then you could take this information to the police. You sprint to the periodic table. Sticky notes are pasted all over. She's tried all different combinations, but it doesn't look like she's cracked it. Bubble clink, pull it and mix. Come on, come on, you're so close to figuring this out. It's right here. Osmium, cobalt, polonium. Wait! Wait, that's it. Polonium and thorium were never tested together. Both of them have radioactive elements, and that may be the thing you've been missing this whole time. Yes, if you could just somehow melt both metals together and dilute them with a liquid, maybe you could run it through the body and give a jolt of electricity, and that would reanimate the figure. All this time, the answer has been here. You just missed the combination by accident, but now you've solved it. Now you can reanimate anything or any... Your body stiffens and a cold rush comes over you. Bubble clink, pull it and mix. You glance over to the tall mirror in the corner. In a trance, you walk silently to it. Bubble clink, pull it and mix. You approach your reflection slowly and stare at the mirror. Bubble clink, pull it and mix. This white lab coat. Bubble clink, pull it and mix. Those glasses. Bubble clink, pull it and mix. That name tag, bubble clink, pour and mix. Who is this? You're not them. They aren't real. There's no one here who looks like that. You live here. They don't. Why are they in your lab? Are they here to steal your work? You put in the hours, not them. Hours? What, what, what time is it? How long have these beakers sat? You have to get over there and pour it quickly. It's a very time-sensitive chemical. And if you don't get there soon, it's gonna... Bubble clink, pour and mix. Bubble clink. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have anything that you want to suggest, I am absolutely open to inspiration and suggestions from others. I think creativity has to thrive on brainstorming, getting things tossed around. You know, you can't just go with your first idea. And I definitely know that this is a channel that I want to build a community around and I think it would be cool if we could just inspire each other. I don't know. Also, if you like the vibe, please subscribe because it really does help me out. I'll see you guys next time.